Red and Golden Delicious are the two most commonly grown apple varieties in the world today. But did you know that there are over 10,000 different apple varieties with names? Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of those unknown ones and the ones you might find in your local farmer's market. This variety is Nittany. It was developed in Penn State in the 1970s. It is a large, fruited, very juicy, yellow-fleshed apple. It's good for pies, it's good for sauce, it's excellent for eating. It ripens about the middle of October. Another variety, though, that's very good is Honeycrisp. And Honeycrisp was developed at the University of Minnesota. It, too, is a large-fruited apple, very juicy, very crisp. And it can be used primarily for fresh eating. It is described, or has been described, as being explosively crisp. This third variety is called John of Gold. It was developed in New York from a cross between Jonathan and Golden Delicious, hence the name John of Gold. This cross was made back in the 1940s. Unfortunately, the apple variety never became popular in the United States. It had to go to Europe. And from Europe, it grew very popularly and then came back to the States. It's crisp, high quality, very juicy. Occasionally, you'll see it in the grocery stores, but more commonly, it's available in roadside markets. You know, you can grow your own high quality apples in your backyard if you use the right varieties. This variety here is called Sundance. It was developed by Purdue, Rutgers, and Illinois. It ripens in early October. It's a high quality, crisp, firm texture yellow apple. It's best for eating. One of the main points that would be good for you is that it is resistant to apple scab. There are a number of varieties that have recently been released that are resistant to apple scab. For more information about those, contact your local county extension office. Another new variety that you may see in grocery stores is called Pink Lady. Pink Lady was developed in Australia. And the reason it's called Pink Lady is the fact that the skin develops a really nice uh, pink blush on it. It is a very high quality, fine textured fruit. It keeps for a long time and is semi-sweet and can be eaten fresh. Now let me talk about another variety that actually lives up to its name, Pink and that's a variety called Pink Pearl. This variety is actually an heirloom variety it's developed many, many years ago. It's only recently been rediscovered. The reason it's called Pink Pearl is because like a pearl, it's pink inside. It's very tart and it's only available in very limited quantities in some stores, but it is very good apple. Obviously, we can't show you all 10,000 varieties, but I hope that when you're out this fall, you stop in your local roadside markets and see what diversity they have in taste and appearance to offer you. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.